worship to you. In surrender, I must give my every part. Lord, receive the sacrifice of a broken heart. Jesus, what can I give? What can I bring to so faithful a friend, to so loving a king? Savior, what can be said? What can be sung as a praise of your name for the things you have done? Oh, my words could not tell. Good evening and welcome to our prayer and praise worship service. We are gathered in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, in the grace of our Lord, Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us now. Gracious Lord, we thank you, we praise you for calling us by name, giving us a new identity as your children. Enable us to see and to believe in the identity that you give to us, that we may be a blessing to others. In your most holy name, through your presence, we live and breathe. Amen. Power in the name of Jesus. 
The word of the Lord I'd like to share with you tonight is from the 12th chapter of Genesis. Now the Lord said to Abram, Go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to the land that I will show you. I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you and make your name great, so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and the one who curses you, I will curse. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. So Abram went, as the Lord had told him, and Lot went with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So we hear first in this 12th chapter of Genesis, God calls Abram. Abram is 75 years of age. He's achieved a lot. He is settled in the country that he's known all his life. And God is calling him down to the land of Canaan to the southwest of where he currently is, to uproot, to take everything he knows, to leave it, listening to God's call. God is giving Abram a new identity, challenging Abram to rely solely on God. Now, has the Lord ever come to us and spoke to us and said the comfort, the security that you are so used to. You need to give that up. You need to trust me. Does God still speak to us in such a way as to give up something that is interfering with our trust and our reliance our, our service to God. I pray that as we consider Abram and Sarah and the blessings that God is promising to them and through them and to all families, that we families gathered here tonight and representatives of families will have some quiet time and reflection in the word of God as given to us in the promise in Genesis 12 to Abram and to us. For through Abram's covenant blessing established by God, we too are saved and enter into a covenant with God. And Jesus Christ makes this covenant most clear evident and effective. So Lord, how are you blessing us to be a blessing to others? How are you calling us out of our comfort zone into a relationship, trusting solely in you? In Jesus' name we contemplate. Amen. <music>
let me go. I lay it all down again to hear you say that I'm your. My desire. No one else will do. 'Cause nothing else could take your place. To feel the warmth of your embrace. Help me find the way. Bring me back to you. You're all I want. You're all I've ever needed. You're all I want. Help me. To you, never let me go. I lay it all down again to hear you say that I'm your friend. You are my desire. Else will do, 'cause nothing else could take your place. To feel the warmth of your embrace, help me find a way, bring me back to you. Let us pray together. Dear Lord, help us to experience anew, to be born again to the blessings and the mission that you call us to go and do. God, help us to be a blessing, not a curse. Unite us, Lord, in a purpose to glorify you to praise you, to depend upon you with all the treasure and all the strength and all the ability that you gift to us. No matter our age or how set in our ways, dear Lord, speak to us anew. Give us a vision of your kingdom that we haven't had before, that we may see so clearly your presence giving birth to us in a new way with the water and the Holy Spirit 
renewing us today to be in your full presence, clearly understanding what your call is for us. We understand, dear Lord, that if you wouldn't go before us and come after us, if you weren't watching and guarding our coming out and going in, our mission would be a failure. But Lord, you protect those who travel to share your news, whether it's around the corner or around the world. May you continue to protect your witnesses, protect those who travel because you told them to go. That they'll be protected by your living presence in such a way as to grow the blessings that you gift to Abraham and your holy families in this generation. Remember us in your kingdom, Lord, teaching us to pray as we visualize those for whom we pray, those near, those far, those suffering and those celebrating. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. God bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you a voice to sing his presence. Good night.